Scene 11 1, take 1. Mark? I'm Carolyn Maher, I'm the Assistant Director for Time Signature. My name is Tara Cioletti and I am playing Astra, who is a time traveler. Uh, my name is Kitty Ostapowitz and I play Danielle, uh, she's the protagonist of the film. Who am I? My name is Matthew Addison, I'm playing Jake. I'm, I'm Heian, Heian Park, and I'm playing Maya. My name is Peter Westerville and I'm the Director of Photography of Time Signature. Uh, my name is Sean Mannion, I am the Writer-Director of Time Signature. Time Signature is a short film about Danielle, a young woman who gets to meet her uh, uh, favorite guitarist from her favorite band, and uh, that guitarist turns out to be her time-traveling daughter from the future. It's a time travel story um, about a, a daughter trying to save her mother from a life of misery by going back to when she met that, that seed of misery a young woman named Astra who's a musician and she travels back in time to uh, right some wrongs in the world. She loses her mom at a very young age so she goes back to try to, to try to fix it. I think she goes back because she's just tired of the, the pain of living in a sense. I always kind of thought of it as like an extended suicide which is really tragic but it's also very brave and heroic for her to say hey I will give up my life if it means that my mother will never have had suffered at the hands of my father. The way that I see it is it's kind of like more of like a buddy film type thing. It's about two people going on a journey together. They just kind of happen to be um, related and you know from different time periods. Occasionally on my Twitter uh, account, uh, Uncle Sean, um, I, uh, I will just post random log lines for movies, just weird shit that just comes into my head. And one of them happened to be that a, a woman gets to meet her uh, favorite musician and that person turns out to be their child from the future. I just heard a description of the project and it sounded really cool and I wanted to get involved. Sean and I actually met on Twitter and he's been so supportive of my project and he's just the greatest guy ever. I call him the bearded angel. So I, I was happy to hop on and, and um, join his project. I like Danielle as a character because uh, for me, she provides an opportunity to play a weaker character. Because I'm always cast as um, a, like a really aggressive or strong or bitchy or angry, violent serial killer. Uh, so it's good to kind of have a more of a wallflower role and explore, explore that kind of side of me. I don't always play, you know, vulnerable characters. Um, I, myself, I, I overheard my, my castmate talking as well. She also plays like the tough chick. So this is a nice way that two tough chicks can kind of like play vulnerable and emotional and just tell a really good, really cool story. Oh man, uh, my favorite time travel story is uh, a Spanish movie called Time Crimes. Um, where a guy goes back in time three times uh, to prevent this madman from killing someone. It's great. One of the, the third Ninja Turtles movie, I thought that was pretty fucking cool. You don't know what I'm talking about? That they have like the, the scepter thing that like vibrates and they're, they're in Japan or somewhere. They go back in time and it's Ninja Turtles. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh... I think my, well, my first favorite time travel story was just Quantum Leap in general. I had such a little girl crush on Scott Bakula. I still do. Scott Bakula's hot. I think probably the finale of Quantum Leap is probably my favorite one, even though it's sad and he doesn't get to go home and it still makes me sad. 
Why doesn't Sam Beckett get to go home? I'm a huge Doctor Who nerd, so anything, any Doctor Who, like any, um, any Doctor Who, uh, Terminator, uh, Loopers, uh, of the newer stuff is really cool. Actually, I'll be honest, I don't, I don't really have a fondness towards time travel story, but Back to the Future is a classic, yeah. Again, everybody's fantastic, and Matt Addison, who had this little part just hitting on, hitting on Kitty in a bar, was just, he was delightful, and I, lo I like his dreads and his tattoos, he was, he was awesome, he's such a charming guy. I have a little, little bit of man crush on him, a little bit. Over, you know, a little coffee and whatnot, we discuss the film, the character, and uh, when someone has, like Sean has a lot of great ideas, and they look across the table and, and think that you can fulfill that idea, it's like a, it's a cool, um, responsibility and an honor so you want to you want to that's what it's all about creating and collaborating with other people filmmakers so it was cool and also just the idea that it's a time travel movie I haven't done that before